meme cards. Gas con. Now this is per se the definition of a meme card as it is the purest of RNG fiestas out there. I wouldn't even consider this a card as it is literally just a gamble. You can get value from 1 to 12 with the odds of 1 to 12. Is it good? No, it's terrible. It's arguably one of the worst effects in the game. Is it funny to use? Hell yeah! It's funny if this card actually wins you games, because it completely tilts your opponent and it makes you a very happy person. Now the deck that I'm going to be building around this is a usurper, sort of Nilfgaard swarm human list. We got Jermaine Picant who synergizes with Slave Infantry. We got Dopplers who synergize with the humans. Milton and Palmerin, because why not? Other than that, it's just your typical Nilfgaard list with a bunch of humans. And yeah, let's just jump into some games. All right, our first match is against Harold. We are currently in rank four, as we did not reach top 500. So we gotta climb back up there. All right, two Dopplers in hand is really good, because these are just gonna come out at nine points each. Might feed into his Geralt, but that's fine. I think I'm gonna play out Albrick and then just pass. Albrick for Gascon, right? No, actually, Vreemd is more important. But what? We, we gotta go for Gascon here. We're just gonna pass here. Usurper doesn't care for rounds. He doesn't have his ability with Herald. I think I'm gonna pass here. I mean, he needs 11 points to catch up here. But he's getting like three passively, I think. Yeah. Plus, that's pretty scary. Okay, so it looks like he's pushing this. In which case, we should find Doppler here. Or we can find a pair of brigade. We mulliganed those away earlier, so we can find them from our Atorius Vigo. Two priests. Really annoying. I don't want two priests on the board. Oh, Jesus. Look at his hand. Wow, he's had really good at cards here. Okay, it's gotta be Jermaine now. Keeps us ahead here. We are currently 11 points down. Let's see if this Gascon can actually do some damage here. Okay, so he's going all out on this. Oh, Yamar. Okay, there's literally no Gascon that wins us here. We have to blow our Gascon. We have to literally blow everything here. It's not even a good gas con here. Wait, could we have lost this, possibly? Oh my god, we actually lost this. Wow. Alright, we're playing against Gudrun. A decent matchup if you're Usurper, because then she does not get the full insane amount of profit that she gains. Alright, he's played out Swindle first thing. We're just gonna play out Doppler for an insane amount of points. And with that, I mean 10. He's just playing for profit here, dude. You're not producing a lot of points. Alright, this is pretty sweet. We got two Dopplers. We got one of Arturius, which is really strong. Because we already have Reamed in hand, we can actually all break for our Gascon here. Should be good. He's played out Freak Show. It's pretty good. Not gonna lie. I think I'm just gonna pass here. He might want to go for a long round. If he tries to bleed me, that's fine. This Freak Show is a really good card. If he plays it out, we're fine with it. Now, I'm actually gonna keep this hand, as this does enable the Milton to a certain degree. If he passes, we can just play this out for, like, nothing. Okay, so he's played Bouncers here. Yeah, I'll, I'll just play out the Soldiers here. So I think I'm just gonna ream that. Okay, maybe not. Vrygef would be really good to draw here, for obvious reasons. Uh, Mil Palmerin is also really good to draw. Locks are, locks are useless against this faction. CDPR has, has bugged. Is, is a bugged little thing. Uh, MK is kind of annoying though. We can't do anything against that. We we might have had to keep our lock here. That would have been probably a bit smart. As for now, we just have points. <laughs> Literally just have points. That's all we have. Sea Jackal's kind of insane, not gonna lie. Yeah, that's pretty insane. This card also, very insane. As it can literally kill anything that he wants to kill here. Yeah, okay. So I might have had to ream the earlier here instead of Oxenfurt. So we lose like two points there. I'm, I'm hoping for Gascon to not be complete trash. But I still think we lose this. This is just like, we can't do anything against these engines that he has. We have zero control in this deck. I mean, we have control, but very, very limited control options. He's got this giant Philippa as well. Just so much good stuff. And we got a... It's a pretty good Gascon, not gonna lie. It's just that we're now 12 points behind. Yeah. That wasn't the greatest of games, was it? Ooh, we got King of Beggars here. Probably a Witch Hunter list. The classic turn one Doppler. Always a good thing. 
I'm, I'm gonna wait for this Arturius Vigo. Just like maybe a turn, wait for him to play like a engine. All right, so he immediately already has nine coins because his swindle got six. That's just great, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna play Arturius Vigo here though. We found the lock, but it's not really of use. We got, we got a few points here, but he has the nine points in his bank, which is good for cards like Fence. But I think I'm gonna play this out just a little bit. Just one more tiny play. Okay, I'm gonna pass here. I think this deck might be a bit outdated. You need to run heavy control against Syndicate, otherwise you're kind of screwed. Okay, so he's going two cards down, which means he's going for the long round, which I'm actually fine with. He's playing his Freak Show now. We have not drawn Vrygef once yet, by the way. This is kind of annoying. And I don't know if these locks actually do anything here. We've not drawn Vrygef Albrick or Germain, so I think we're pretty screwed here, not gonna lie. It's not looking too good here. We have to pray that this Gascon's like a 27 something point play, which he can't really be. He has a limit of 12, and I don't even think he can hit that properly in this game. He's playing Swindle for 5. That's really good. I think I have to play out my Gascon here. It's a 7 point Gascon, it's pretty underwhelming, not gonna lie. I'll have to keep my locks here. This is the best play I have. It, it sucks. It sucks hard, but it's the best play I have. Siri's pretty good for movement. I can't play her proactively. Her movement is really, really strong against this faction. He still has Philippa. And Philippa is just insane, not gonna lie. He also has this. This card is so good as well. There's so many good cards in this faction. It's actually insane. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. This is so bad. I don't want to lock this. Ah, oh, but I have to. Oh my god. This is really bad. This is so terrible. I was hoping he doesn't kill this. Alright, what is he gonna do now? He's playing like Slice Seductress. It's kind of good. This card's insane. Because he's got the... What's his... Uh, his the, the big boy that damages everything by two. So, this Palmerin actually isn't that bad. Not gonna lie. Because it gives shield to two of my units. There's the Philippa. Wait. What? This is why Philippa is kind of trash, to be honest. But his card is still gonna win, because it's like, insane amount of points. More than 12 points. Told you. This is ridiculous. Okay, great. I guess we gotta switch the deck here. Alright, if you can't beat him, join him, is what they say. So I just build a random deck with King of Beggars. Uh, I don't know how this faction fully works. I just put together some, some trash, put it garbage. Let's hope it works somehow. All right, we're playing against Crack. Well, this Horse and Freak Show, as it is arguably the most ridiculous card in the game right now. Ooh, unless he has Carlo Verrazzi, <laughs> aka Cleaver, aka the Lethal Injection. This is so ridiculous. Tribute one with King of Beggars is literally tribute zero, and that's just stupid in my opinion. I'm gonna play my Casino Bouncers here for six. I'm gonna use this for a total of seven points. <laughs> seven points, guys. Totally balanced. All right, he's got Gregor, though. I mean, he's pushing me out of this round, and I'll... I, I, I get the message. I'll, I'll take the push. I need to find Swindle here. Swindle's really good. Also, this bear and my Siggy are good ways to get money, but I haven't drawn any of them, so that's kind of annoying. Oh, but we found Gascon, so I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty decent. So there's Harold. Think I'm. I can kill him with Morales. Yep. Maybe force out like a pass out of him here. Okay, no pass from this guy then. All right, sweet. Looks like we're playing for the monies. I think I'm gonna place Kalkstein first for two profit. Then play this guy. Then play the Cesar to get some coins out here. Pretty good, right? Okay, so he's passed. I can play a Caesar Blitzen for a total of three coins of carryover, which is actually really, really good. And I think I'm just gonna do that. Now I would like my Siggy here, or like either one of these two brothers. Not the boat though, the boat's trash. The boat is complete trash. All right, the brothers are good. I'm not sure if Swindle's actually good here though. It could be, it could definitely be good here. 
But all right, whatever. Uh, I'm only gonna get it back. That's this how it works, right? We just open. Wait, what happened here? Why can I not press anything? Is my game bugged? What is going on? I can I can press this. I cannot press anything below this. What is what is happening? Why can I not look at everything? Anything? I can look at this. I can't touch anything on my game here. Can I touch my leader? No. Nope. I can't I can't press anything. My mouse is here. I'm pressing it. Nothing is happening. I can pass, but I can't press any buttons here. That's actually really annoying. I wonder if it's the same for this guy. No, he can clearly touch his things. What the hell? Why what why is my game bugged? I can't even press escape enter. I can literally only pass. That's the only thing I can do right now. Wow. Thanks, CDPR, I guess. I don't know if this is a bug or not. Because I can clearly now press everything that I want to press. Look at this. I can I can wipe my mouse over everything. Alright, we're playing against Francesca. I hope this time our our cards actually work here. Okay, they do clearly work right now. Wonder how long that's gonna last though. Turn one swindle here for five coins, which is pretty decent. Oh wow, he's already deciding something. Fisher King. What? Okay, I guess he's like a unitless cancer deck. It looks like it at least. Alright, sweet. We're playing unitless Scoyatel here. Great stuff. I should be able to play Gascon here, right? Oh my god, one point Gascon! Look at that! That's fantastic! Oh, <laughs> one point Gascon, are you serious? This game is screwing me over today. Oh great, Curse of Corruption as well. Good stuff, good stuff, great stuff here. Absolutely fantastic, not gonna lie. Does he have a six point unit? I mean he has dragon, right? Always gonna have dragon, but I'm... <sighs> Like, do I have a choice, really? He's played Cock, he's played Glorious Hunt, he's played Fisher King. My deck's rather reactive as well. If I, what if I just pass here? Uh such a bad, like, play. Shoop, okay. I'm fine getting rid of Shoop here. He gains resilience, okay, that's fine. Now, I have to use, like, a bunch of coins to actually get rid of the Shoop here. Which is kind of annoying, because he can now pass and I have to, like, spend... Six leader pings to just get rid of the shoop. Yeah, he's gonna pass. That was wait, I can I can actually just Borority. Like it's a six. I have to spend two. This is really annoying. <laughs> this is actually really annoying. I mean I haven't spent all my charges on King of Beggars, which is kind of decent, but it's not what you want. Definitely isn't what you want. So he's still played only one unit so far, which I find interesting. I guess I played Daniel Pastodi. Daniel Pastodi doesn't work on immune units. I played against him with like Milva and Gabor immune and he doesn't work with immune units. It's actually kind of bad. Oh, good that it didn't kill the Kalkstein actually. That, that would have been actually devastating. So I play for this guy. Gives us two extra coins of course. We can hoard for the sewer raiders now, which is really good. This one we just kill, right? I don't know, man. I don't know what these guys are playing these days. All right, Scorch for a whooping 12, I think that was. Yeah, I'll take this as my Philippa, honestly. Well, all of a sudden, he's playing units and stuff. It's kind of weird. I mean, Epidemic, yeah. It's Epidemic, right? Yeah. That's pretty good, right? I mean, this is just so annoying, right? Like, how, like this is just dumb. Playing against these unitless decks. I guess that's the way to counter these King of Beggar decks. Yeah, that was a... Dragon. Sweet! Good game, CDPR. Seriously, this is a very cancerous meta right now. It's actually disgusting. They need to get this patch out ASAP. As for this guy, don't play this guy. Just from a design point, he's so bad. In my last game, I got a one with this guy, and that pretty much lost me the game single-handedly, because I just couldn't push the round anymore. I had, like, a one-point card. What was that gonna do? This card is so bad. There's so many, like, things wrong with it. There's a lot of cases where this card just lets you down. And I just think this 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 card just triggered me a bit too much today. But if you still did enjoy this video, please leave a like, subscribe for more Gwen content, and I'll see you soon.